Hi, this is Joyce Hall, and I have Carolyn Lucas with me, and we are going to be demonstrating the lovely U bundle uh, that includes the lovely labels Pick a Punch and the lovely label, lovely U stamp set. Um, so anyway, um, the first question is, why did you buy it? Um, I bought it because I just love this punch. Uh, what a bargain! Uh, six tags for uh, one price, twenty-three dollars. Uh, you can have tags of any length. You can layer the tags uh, using the same punch, um, and you don't have to do any snipping and uh, cutting of uh, the pieces in order to make it fit. Uh, and then you've got the savings on the bundle. Uh, the stamp set, it's got a really nice variety of sayings uh, that aren't in other sets. I really love this beautiful font style, especially the, um, the cursive. A, the, um, the combination with the punch, uh, because each of these uh, sayings have a different length, this punch was <laughs> made to do any length. It really works well together. Uh, I've um, also, let's see, so now, now that I've used it, do I like it? Yes, um, I did find that I need to trim around the red rubber on these because I was catching some edges. Um, but other than that, um, I loved some of the samples that I made. So let me show you some um, things. First of all, I made a chart so that you can see all of the different um, punches that you can make with that. And then, um, also, note that the fleur-de-lis from this stamp set right here, that was designed to fit perfectly in the one of the um, punches. And um, here are some of the samples that I made. So I made a theater card and I used the, um, the punch. And I do have a video now that I've made of how I uh, put this uh, together, but there are lots of videos online too if you want to learn how to make a theater card. They're really fun. Uh, but I used it, um, the punch for the for both of these tags, and I'll show you how to do that. Step one is to punch one end and then save the extra piece. Step two is to stamp, and then step three you want to trim the end. So what you do is take this extra piece that you've got, fit it so that the saying is centered, and draw a line. And may I use your snips, please? Trim along that line. Look like this. Now, it's kind of tricky because if you're trying to fit this into the punch, you can see that it's <laughs> hard to get a good grip on that. Oops. Yeah, do it right in. <laughs> okay. So what I did was I took some of my Tombow liquid glue, this is a one inch wide strip, and just put a little bit of liquid glue in here and smeared it around, let it dry so that it's a temporary adhesive. Line this up like this, then you've got a nice handle. Check the back to make sure that things are straight and centered. And now you can stick this in there and punch. So that's how you can make this work with any size label. Um, you can also, with um, these two stamps, you can use markers to um, have one color for the flower and another color for the stem and the leaves. Uh, so there, that adds versatility to the, the stamp set. Um, and you can also, uh, with all of these solid stamps, you can design, do your own designer series paper. So I've got some other samples to show you. This is where I um, use three different greens for the greenery and then the bumblebee and the bumblebee ribbon. 
And I did this <laughs> same card, just different colors. And I used this. This is a mint macaron base, and the uh, I used mint macaron, um, just jade, and shaded spruce for this, along with the bumblebee. This one is a soft sea foam base. I used pear pizzazz, granny apple green, and old olive for the colors, along with the bumblebee for for that. So now it's Carolyn's time turn to show you some things. I'm gonna need that. This chair is different from mine. <laughs> so yes, feels a little funny. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna show you three layers. And my method for trimming the, to the size I want. So when I, I stamp my little half inch strip and then I'm gonna trim it using our trimmer. And you can see, um, you can line that the end of your this is letter. The, it's off the edge of the camera. You're gonna have to print, pull this down. Oh, a bit. sorry. There you go. Oops. Okay. That should be better. So I kind of line it up. For this one, I'm gonna line it up at three eighths. So that's where this end is. And I'm just gonna trim that off. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other end. Just like this. <laughs> okay. So then I will measure, please don't do that. I will measure this piece and it measures about two inches. So, it's a little bit crooked. Um, I'm gonna do the, um, what is this called? Misty? Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight, yeah. Uh, at about two and a quarter. And the last piece at two and a half. So now I know exactly what I want. And I like to use post-its when my pieces are short. Um, if I'm using a half inch strip, I trim my post-it to about an inch so that it's folded over it. And then for the, um, whatever the width of your strip is, cut your post-it twice that. And you don't have to use your cutter for that. You can just use your scissors. So this one, first one, is an inch. Second one is about an inch and a quarter. Close enough. And your last one would be two. And the nice thing is, if you're making a bunch of these, that you can reuse your uh, post-its. So I'm gonna start with this. And sorry, I keep forgetting where the camera is. I've never done this before. So I'm just gonna fasten it like that. And I'm going to use the top one, which is the bottom one when you turn it over. And for this, I like to turn it over so I can see where it's lining up. Because sometimes it's a little tricky. 
Okay, so there's that end. And I will reverse it. To do the other end. See, it wants to move. It's a little short. So right there. And then I can repeat the process with the other two pieces and actually layer three. So it would be like that. You get the idea. I will tell you that if you've had a lot of coffee and you're trying to line that baby up and you, you stick it in there and you find that you're doing this, <laughs> don't drink coffee before you do it if a coffee affects you that way. Because shaking just does not help. And those pieces are going to go on this card, which is made with um, Misty Moonlight and Boho Indigo DSP. And the um, embossing folder, the greenery embossing folder. So then I will just lay it like so. And maybe add a gem or a piece of ribbon. Another thing that I found that's fun to do is to make um, used designs like the uh, edges designs and stamp them and place them on a strip that you can accent a card with, like you know, on the side. Oops, there's my post-it. And what I wanted to do was make eight. So I used my stamp apparatus and lined everything up and did eight stamps. And then you can line the design up on your uh, trimmer so that you can see right where the edge is and you can trim that edge and then I would turn it around to do the other edge. And then you can make it your three quarters of an inch if that's what your design calls for. So, where are my samples? Oh, here they are. This is one where my post-its came in super handy using the, um, the new little alphabet stamp, or punch, dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, I definitely had to use post-its to cut these ends. But it worked out really well. And I got to use all the new ink colors on this one, which I, you might have seen already on um, Designer uh, Demonstrator website. I used the uh, touches of texture and added a couple of uh, metallic beads. This was lots of fun to make. On this one, I did the three quarter and the one inch, and on the navy piece, which is the back piece, I used Wink of Stella heavily to get that nice metallic look and just a little bit around the rest of the card. And this one, it was kind of fun to trim one end straight um, so that it lined up with the edge of this card because this, if you've gotten your card from me already, this is the card and it's two cards, basically. Makes a great anniversary card. The just because you're my person. And on this one, I was again using the it's Tasteful Touches DSP and some copper. And here, the little dots, I just lined up my ruler and used the fine point on a marker and did every eighth inch a little dot. So there's four here and three there, just to add some interest. And then on the inside, again, adding some more texture. So that's all I have to do, all I have to show you. Thanks for watching. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't worry, I may sound awful, but I'm not sick. I just have allergies. So now it's Joyce's turn. Enjoy the rest of the um, the conference, and um, I hope you learn a lot. Yes.